Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the evolution of one of the most iconic tactical game series ever, Commandos. We will journey through the series from its groundbreaking debut with Commandos behind the enemy lines to the exciting upcoming release Commandos Origins. Whether you are a long time fan or new to the series, you will get to see how these games have evolved over the years. Let's get started. 1998 Commandos Behind Enemy Lines Commandos Behind the Enemy Lines was the inaugural title in the series, laying the foundation for the tactical espionage genre. Players assumed command of a six person commando unit, each with distinct abilities and equipment, tasked with infiltrating heavily guarded Nazi strongholds. The game was renowned for its meticulous level design, requiring careful planning and execution. Players navigated complex environments, utilizing shadows, disguises, and stealth to evade detection. Each commander had a specialized role, the sniper for long-range elimination, the demolitions expert for explosives, the seducer for distraction, and so on. The game emphasized teamwork and coordination, as success often hinged on combining the skills of multiple commanders. The missions were diverse, ranging from rescuing prisoners to sabotaging critical infrastructure. The game's success lay in its ability to immerse players in a role of a covert operative, demanding strategic thinking and quick reflexes. It introduced a level of complexity and challenge that captivated players and set a high bar for subsequent entries in the series. 1999 Commandos Beyond the Call of Duty Building upon the success of its predecessor, Commandos Beyond Call of Duty expanded the scope of the series, introducing new environments, missions and commandos. The game refined the stealth mechanics, offering more options for infiltration and evasion. The commando rooster was expanded to include a med, adding a new layer of tactical possibilities. The missions became increasingly intricate, requiring careful planning and adaptation to unforeseen challenges. The game introduced a greater emphasis on environmental interaction, allowing players to utilize objects and terrain to their advantage. The enemy AI was also improved, demanding more cautious and strategic gameplay. Beyond the Call of Duty further solidified the Commando series as a benchmark for real-time tactics games. Its combination of challenging gameplay, diverse missions, and expanded character rooster made it a favorite among fans of the genre. 2001 Commanders 2 Men of Courage Commanders 2 Men of Courage is widely considered the pinnacle of the series. It refined the gameplay mechanics, introduced new commandos with unique abilities, and expanded the mission variety. The game's graphics were significantly improved, creating a more immersive experience. The new commandos such as the sniper with silenced weapons and the thief with lockpicking skills added depth to the tactical possibilities. The missions were more ambitious, often requiring multiple approaches and careful coordination. The game also introduced new enemy types and behaviors, demanding constant adaptation. Men of Courage's level design was exceptional, offering intricate involvements filled with opportunities for stealth and deception. The game's replayability was high, as players could experiment with different approaches and commando combinations. It remains a beloved classic in the real-time tactics genre. 2003 Commandos 3 Destination Berlin Commanders 3 Destination Berlin marked a significant departure from its predecessors by transitioning to a fully 3D engine. This shift offered a more immersive experience but also altered the core gameplay mechanics. Players still commanded an allied commando unit, but the focus shifted towards more direct action and less stealth. Although these elements were still present, the game was divided into three campaigns Stalingrad, Central Europe, and Normandy. Each campaign offered distinct environments and challenges. The Commando Rooster was revamped, introducing new characters with specialized abilities. The emphasis on teamwork remained, but the game's faster pace encouraged more aggressive tactics. While Commandos 3 introduced a fresh perspective on the series, it divided the fanbase. Some appreciated the increased action and 3D graphics, while others felt it strayed too far from the core stealth-focused gameplay of the earlier titles. Despite the mixed reception, the game still managed to attract a dedicated following. 2006 Commando Strike Force Commando Strike Force represented a radical departure from the series' roots. It abandoned the real-time tactics formula in favor of a third-person action-oriented gameplay style. Players controlled a single commando equipped with various weapons and gadgets as they infiltrated enemy territory. 
The game featured a cover based shooting mechanic and emphasized combat over stealth. While it retained some elements of the Commando series, such as character abilities and objective based missions, the overall tone was markedly different. Strike Force was a commercial and critical disappointment, failing to capture the essence of the original Commando's games. The shift in gameplay alienated many long-time fans, and the game struggled to find its own identity. 2024 Commandos Origins The upcoming Commandos Origins aims to return the series to its tactical roots. Developed by Calypso Media, this new installment promises to combine the classic real-time tactics gameplay with modern graphics and mechanism. While details are still limited, Fans can expect a focus on strategy, stealth, and teamwork, similar to the early games. Origins is set to reintroduce beloved commandos and offer new missions that challenge players' strategic thinking. With high hopes from the community, Commandos Origins has the potential to revive the series and attract a new generation of players. It is set to release in late 2024, although no exact date was announced. Overall, the Commando series has had a complex history, with highs and lows. While the original titles are considered classics, subsequent entries experimented with different gameplay styles, resulting in mixed reception. Despite the challenges, the series continues to hold a special place in the hearts of many strategy game fans. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, check out my games. Links are in description. See you guys in my next video.